Ekaite Boniface was not born male or female. She's one of the few caught in the middle, who did not fit in the typical gender type. Ekaite is intersex and as a result, she was kicked out of the Falconets camp prior to the Chile 2008 FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup. I was featured in the starting lineup, so we finished playing the first half. There was no goal. So the second half, the coach had to feature me again to play and bring out one other player. So like the player were like complaining that the strength I have is they don't understand if truly I'm a girl or a boy that I'm playing extraordinary from other girls because when I get into the pitch again I played better than when I was in first half so I was the person who even score for the team In Ekaita's case, doctors have identified her as an intersex person with 85% female and 15% male hormones and sexuality. Ekaita, however, chooses to identify as a woman. Already I've found myself growing up as a girl, mingling with girls, anything I do with girls. But I see that as impossible. Why? Because some texts that I've done some tests, so has confirmed that I'm a girl. It's just the physical appearance I have. So you just need to do some other things to bring out the real girl in me. Ekaite still struggles with her identity as this stands in the way of her career as a footballer. The cards dealt by nature has led her to selling tickets at the stadium. I put myself in, in selling of tickets just to earn a living at that moment because after the match, if they're not playing again, still go back to square one. Is the slow death of the kite's dream of playing professional football as a result of her sexuality more valuable than living her dream like every socially acceptable woman? I'm <laughs> not